Katie. I want to welcome you back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making my mom's German meat and cabbage pie. Very simple recipe and it's amazing. Okay, to start us off, I got our oven preheated at 350. And I've got one pie crust out because that's going to be our base. So just make sure that because we're going to put our stuff on it. To get started, I'm going to cook up a pound of hamburger and one large onion. Yep, one large onion. Let's get cooking. I greased up our pan with some butter. The baking dish, I'm not going to put any right now because this is all meat. This is going to be the grease from the meat. Is gonna cook everything up. Okay, everybody, I've got this cooked. I got meat browned and onions are pretty well cooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in our cabbage. And it's about three cups is what you'll need. This may be a little bit more. This is what I'm using. And we're just gonna let this cook down into everything. I'm going to add this right now, butter flavor sprinkles, and this is the Molly McButter brand. And about two tablespoons, and that's what's really going to give the flavor in this dish. This is something my mom would make when I was a kid, and it was one of my favorite things. I haven't really had it since I moved out. Oh, what's up, man? Oh, yeah, what you cooking, man? Oh, no, not you again. You showed up. What you cooking, man? German meat and cabbage pie. German meat and cabbage pie. German meat and cabbage pie. And why are you making that for? Because it tastes good. Let me ask you something, people. When have you seen somebody cooking lettuce? You've seen it here, everybody. This woman actually cooking lettuce. You know, people must have a lot of time on their hands when they come watching you. We're going to reduce the heat. We need to reduce is the fact that you're not making queuing coffee. Food needs something. You know what is missing? I'm gonna show you guys. It's missing for me to bust a cap into this food because it's garbage. Come on, dude, like just let me shoot at it. No, you're not shooting anything. Come on, dude, like, nobody, like, if I did shoot it, your video would get so many views. Jose, and that is salt. And our family likes a lot of pepper. So we're going to put in a good amount of pepper. Okay, everybody, I've taken this off the stove. Now we're gonna make our pie. So first off, we're gonna start scooping this onto here. And we're just gonna keep scooping and put as much as we can on this. And we're gonna put the other pie crust Right on top of here. Oh snap, now it turns from a taco into an empanada. <laughs> oh, how do you learn to make Mexican food like this, Bear? This isn't Mexican food. This is German. <laughs> What's this called again? German meat and cabbage pie. Oh, you should fold up the thing on the outside. I am. I 
I feel like punching there. Doesn't it feel like we're like right here? Like mm -hmm. something you could just punch really hard and just watch what it would do. That's only you and probably a select number of viewers. So I'm just crimping it out. Trying to make it as compact as possible. This is one big taco. It's a pack. And I have the recipe right here. This is for my mama. Now we're going to put this in the oven. In the oven for 30 minutes at 350. You sure that piece of paper's not going to catch fire? This. No, you said the other thing. You said you were going to put the piece of paper in the oven for half an hour. This pie goes in for 30 minutes. Go. Okay, the pie is ready. It looks just like I remember it as a kid. Really? Yeah. Your mom used to make this? Yeah. Yeah, you said it was your mom's recipe. Yeah, I think you had it once when we were dating. I don't remember. At mom's house. But I'm going to cut it. You know up. what I do want you to make? You remember that thing your mom used to make with the pineapple? The carrot salad? Oh, my gosh. I'll get the recipe from her. Please do. That looks amazing. Empanada? Or something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> am, is it me or am I finding a lot of similarities yeah. between German food and Mexican food? Yeah. <laughs> if it's green, he's against it. This isn't bad. It's a very American, hearty American. Uh, you know what it reminds me of? Like, we went to the Amish restaurant. Mm -hmm. And it had a very American, like, soul, I don't know if that's the right word. Yeah. Soul food, American, hearty type of taste. Mm -hmm. the te it's a very smooth texture. It's a, It goes down really easy. It's a very... Um, it just, it goes down smoothly. I would go smaller chunks on the cabbage. The question is, would you eat it again? Like one night for dinner, would you eat this? Yes. I don't, I'm not going to crave it or nothing. I'm not going to crave this, but. Just something in the rotation that's different? Um. To be honest, it, it does. It, it is good. The textures are very. This is a very like on a cold day type of thing. Yes. It, it you can see. Yes, I put it up now because things are starting to get cooler, and I thought they might enjoy a heartier recipe. It is it really. Is. It, it definitely is a heartier meal. So. It's definitely a meal for a hot, for a really cold day. It's very easy to the stomach. It's very so good for you right now. Yeah, it's toned down. It's um, well, I mean, it's it's great actually. <laughs> if he's picking at it, he likes it. How you, how you just left that broom handle over there sticking out? Yeah. <laughs> and how you left a up sideways cup on the sofa. <laughs> She left, look at all the crap she's got on that sofa. And you can make out there's toilet paper stashed behind this couch. What? You can make out there's toilet paper back there. Very professional. So, since we're talking about your family heritage, what are we looking at here, this red thing? This is from the railroad. That's all you got? This is from the railroad? It's from, I think, the 1800s. From my mom's side of the family. Do you know what state, what history? What... Indiana. Mm hmm So you're a full-blooded, uh... Yankee. Is that what they call you around here? Oh, that's what they were telling me about you. Oh, okay, I'm just trying to put one and two together. <laughs> I'm a jerk. They got stone you, Jose. <laughs> This brings me back to family dinners as a kid. I can see this. With my dad and my sister. Kind of like a, we should do like an oven baked quesadilla. Stop trying to change the family recipe. 